Welcome to the series of Blender Tutorials. This tutorial is about how to change window types in Blender 2.59. This script has been contributed by Panu Prakash and edited by Monisha Banerjee. After watching this tutorial, we shall learn how to resize any window in the Blender interface. How to toggle between different windows. How to split the windows and merge them back together. And how to maximize any window into full screen mode. I assume that you know the basic elements of the Blender interface. If not, then please refer to our earlier tutorial, Basic Description of the Blender Interface. We have already seen different types of windows that are present in the Blender Interface. These windows can be resized. Move the mouse cursor to the left edge of the Outliner window. We see a double-headed arrow. Now, left-click and drag your mouse. The outline of window resizes as the mouse moves. Now, move the mouse cursor to the bottom edge of the outline of window. Again, we see a double-headed arrow. Left-click and drag your mouse. The outline of window resizes as the mouse moves. This is how we can resize any window in the Blender interface. Now, let's see how to toggle between the different windows of the Blender interface. Go to the left hand corner of the 3D view. Here is a button with up and down arrows displaying the current editor type. Left click on the button. A menu opens containing different window options. This is editor type menu. This menu is present at the left hand corner of every window in the Blender interface and is used to toggle between the different windows. Move your mouse on the menu options. For shortcut, you can use the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard. Left click on UV or image editor. The 3D view has changed to the UV image editor. Left click on the editor type menu again and select 3D view. Now we are back to the 3D view. So this is how you can toggle between different windows using editor type menu. The default 3D view can be divided into four parts. There are two ways to divide the 3D view. First, Left click view at the bottom left corner of the 3D view next to editor type menu. Select the second option from the top that says toggle quad view. For shortcut press ctrl alt and q. The 3D view is divided into four different views. Top view front view, right view and camera view. You will find this very useful when modeling and animating in Blender. Press Ctrl, Alt and Q to disable the quad view. Press spacebar and type toggle in the search area.
Select the option Toggle Quad View from the list. This is the second method for enabling the Quad View. Press Ctrl, Alt and Q to disable the Quad View again. We are back to Blender's default camera view. Apart from the five different windows which are present in the Blender interface by default, you can also add new windows to the Blender interface by dividing the area. Again, there are two ways to do this. Let me demonstrate this in the outline of window. Move your mouse cursor to the three slanted lines or hatched lines on the bottom left corner of the outline of window till a plus sign appears. Hold left click and drag your mouse to the right. The outline of window is now divided into two new panels. Each new panel has its own set of tools. Now, to merge the two new panels back together, we use the same method. The right panel needs to be merged back into the left one. Move your mouse cursor to the hatched lines at the bottom left corner of the right outliner panel till the plus sign appears. Hold left click and drag your mouse towards the left panel. The panel is shaded and a clear arrow sign appears over it. Release left click. The two windows are merged. Now, let's see the second way to divide the window area. First, we will divide the outline of window horizontally. Move your mouse cursor to the left edge of the outline of window till a double-headed arrow appears. Right-click on the arrow sign. Left-click Split Area. Drag your mouse to the middle of the outline of window. A horizontal line appears along with a double-headed arrow. Left-click to lock the position. The outline of window is now divided into two new horizontal panels. Just like before, each panel has its own set of tools. Now, let's merge the new panels back together in the same way. Move your mouse cursor to the horizontal edge between the two new panels till a double-headed arrow appears. Right click and select Join Area. Move your mouse over any one panel, top or bottom. I am choosing the bottom panel. The chosen panel is shaded and a clear arrow sign appears over it. Left click the shaded panel. The two panels are merged back together. Now, Try to divide the outliner window vertically and merge the new panels back together again. Move your mouse cursor to the bottom edge of the outliner window till a double-headed arrow appears. Right-click on the arrow sign. Left-click Split Area. Drag your mouse to the middle of the outliner window. A vertical line appears along with the double-headed arrow. Left-click to lock the position. The outline of window is now divided into two new vertical panels. Move your mouse cursor to the vertical edge between the two new panels till a double-headed arrow appears. Right click and select Join Area. Move your mouse over any one panel, left or right. 
I am choosing the right panel. The chosen panel is shaded and a clear arrow sign appears over it. Left click the shaded panel. The two panels are merged back together. Now, let's see how we can rearrange the location of different panels in the properties window. For example, we want the layers panel to be on top of the render panel. Move the mouse cursor to the three slanted lines at the top right corner of the layers panel. Press and hold left click and drag your mouse upwards. The layers panel moves to the top of the render panel. Now, let's see how to maximize any particular window or switch to full screen mode in Blender. Move your mouse cursor to any window. I am selecting the 3D view. Press Ctrl and up arrow button on your keyboard. The 3D view has now been maximized to full screen mode. To exit from full screen mode, press Ctrl and down arrow key on your keyboard. We are back to Blender's default view. This can be done to any window. So, this is how we resize any window, toggle between different windows, split the windows and merge them back together in Blender. Now, create a new file and try to toggle the 3D view into quad view. Split the outline of window and merge the new panels back. In the properties window, move the output panel to the top of the render panel. And maximize the 3D view into full screen mode. This tutorial is created by Project Oscar and supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT. More information on the same is available at the following links oscar.iitb.ac.in and spoken-tutorial.org slash nme ict dash intro. Thanks for joining us. And this is Manisha from IIT Bombay signing off.